Sunday's NFL Week 9 action is in the books. Daylight Savings is the dumbest thing in the world. So let's power through this and hand out some awards. We start with the most obvious choice for NFL MVP after Week 9, and that goes to, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, Geno Smith. The 32-year-old Seahawks quarterback continues to be the best story in the NFL this year. There's four quarterbacks playing in the 4 p.m. games on Sunday. They were Tom Brady, Matthew Stafford, Kyler Murray, and Geno Smith. And Geno was the best quarterback of that group, which is absolutely wild considering what Brady's done, considering what Stafford's done, and you know, Kyler was the number one pick overall. Geno Smith is the story. The Seahawks were supposed to be terrible this year. He led the Seahawks to a victory on Sunday in Arizona. They're now six and three atop the NFC West. I mean, come on. If you can't enjoy watching what Geno's doing this year, you don't like sports, you don't have a heart, and you just don't get it. Next, we hand out the award for a new team that needs to be banned from primetime games, joining the Denver Broncos, and that goes to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I know what you're gonna say, but Tom Brady led them back on a game-winning drive in the final minutes. It was unbelievable, and yes, I get it, I'm from Boston. Tommy Brady kid is in our veins, I understand it. But the first 59 minutes of that game on Sunday was as exciting as being on Twitter, just hitting refresh, 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 waiting for a new Elon Musk tweet. I'm gonna charge you money to make the experience worse. The Bucks offense has been bad this season, just really tough to watch. They've lost the past few games before this one, yeah, they gotta, they gotta win over the Rams. They shouldn't have shot cannons off in the stadium after that game, because there was really nothing to celebrate. Besides, yes, Tom Brady led him back for a victory, and that's great for them. But for football fans watching that game, yikes, it was rough. All right, now we gotta hand out the final award. It goes to the two coaches who deserve to be fired after week nine, and that goes to Colts coach Frank Reich and Arizona Cardinals coach Cliff Kingsbury. Frank Reich should have been fired last year after that loss to the Jaguars, finally game of the season, kept out of the playoffs. The Colts, three, five, and one, disaster. Bad, bad, bad football. They need to get rid of Frank Reich, start anew, try to rebuild things there in Indianapolis. And then you have the Cardinals out in the desert. They're three and six after losing the Seahawks. Cliff Kingsbury, I don't know how he's still around. I just don't get it. He was a very mediocre college coach before coming to the NFL. And they just have too much talent on this roster to be doing what they're doing. They haven't won a game in the division this year. They just keep every week, right? You turn it on, and you're like, here come the Cardinals. They're gonna play decent and they're gonna lose. And that's what they do most of the time, at least six times this year. Another thing that should be gone to like savings. I hate your guts. I don't know why it's dark out now at 4.30. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Well, I hate daylight savings. I do like football. Football's good.